Ele não se atrai até chegar na idade de idade dele. Então, você tem que morrer. Ele é Você tem que morrer. Ele é literalmente. Eu não sei se você está fazendo isso agora, porque eu estou sendo compelado. Eu estou compelado por algumas ações que eu não sei. Não por mim, mas por meus amigos. Se você está fazendo isso agora, ou não está fazendo isso agora. Então, você do not need to define yourself by a man, period. Your self-worth is not determined by the term of whether or not a man wants you or whether or not you want with a man. And I often see a lot of girls, including myself, I used to do to sad or upset when they were single. And that would in turn cause them to be like, bitter, angry, because of the fact that no man was with or relationship didn't work out or things of that nature. And your relationships that you get into do not work out for a reason. If you are constantly jumping into relationships just because you don't want to be alone, then um, if you're jumping into relationships just because you don't want to be alone, and if not, and you are not ready to say, to, if you don't love yourself, or if you don't like yourself enough to be alone, or you don't come, you're not comfortable with being alone, the relationship is not going to work out. You're going to, basically, you're asking the person that you're dating to essentially, you're asking the person that you're dating to essentially pick up the slack what you haven't, for what God already wanted you to do. God wants you to work on yourself and to seek Him first. And for those who just jump into relationships, you're essentially asking the person that you're in a relationship with that you're talking to to pick up the slack, do what you were supposed to do, show <clears throat> you the love that you don't show yourself. And that's not a fair, um, that's not something that's fair to give to that person or a fair task to give to that person because nine times out of ten that person instead of just having fun and you know being in a relationship with you they're constantly reassuring you that yes you're pretty yes you are um, i like you no i'm not talking to anyone else things of that nature and that's not fair to them now granted some guys may be that grimy that you um that you feel like that you need to be reassured but if you feel like a guy is messing around on you or cheating around on you or it's not completely up to you, let him go. It's not worth it. Like, you just think that I'm learning day and day, day by day. There's a certain, certain situation I'm in right now, which is like, why I'm debating, why am I putting myself in a situation that could possibly cause me more heartache and pain? I'm not to say that the guy is a good guy, but it's like, what I was sitting here trying to say, like, am I not happy with myself if I put myself in a situation that, like, like, essentially, the guy has a, quite a bit of baggage, and I see myself, like, you know, so maybe, like, whether or not a person just like, or when I tell a friend or a relative, someone I'm close to, like, you know, tell them a little bit about the guy I'm dating, just like, oh, Michelle, that's a big task, big. A lot of stuff that you're putting in yourself without the guarantee that you can possibly be in a relationship. And I'm just sitting here, I keep thinking about him, I'm like, wait a minute, he's right, or they're right. Why am I putting myself in this situation? Why am I, I'm young, I'm only 23. Why am I putting myself in so much baggage? I have no children, I have no outstanding loans or anything from school. I need to start off fresh, and I'm blessed and lucky enough that I had that chance. So, if I'm already promised trouble to begin with, according to the sounds word, I'm already, well, if I'm already promised days of trouble, why would I add more trouble to the trouble I've already promised, you know? And I start realizing, like, wait a minute, maybe I don't, maybe I'm so into having a boyfriend and having some type of companionship when I'm, I mean, you know, some type of physical companionship from here 
or need to be focused on God contention or cosmic contention, if you were to think about it for that matter, that's what my pastor was saying. But um, basically, I realized that I don't need to define myself by a man, and I can be happy by myself or with someone. But right now, I just need to focus on me. I need to focus on what's best for me. If that means me being single and me not talking to anybody for years, then so be it. But those will be the happiest years of my life, I'm sure. Because, like, people in general are so focused on having someone to come home and call. Like, and that's me included. I would come home, excuse me, or uh, come home if I had a rough day. Like, recently I had a rough day last Monday, and I started calling everyone I possibly could to vet. And not once did I actually sit there and think about praying about it. So I remember being upset at the guy, but slightly upset at the guy that I was talking to, that I am talking to, because of the fact that um, I called him several times and he didn't get the phone. And it was just like, wait a minute. He's not God. Why am I depending so much or putting so much faith in a human being who may or may not be there, who may not be present? And no matter what, like, no matter what, I call these people and no one takes the phone. And that and the phone never occurred to me, but shall I sit down and pray about it? You know, even on the day off that I essentially beg my boss to take, because I needed a personal day, just to clear my mind and not go crazy, I didn't think about praying about it. And it's crazy because it's like I, I focus on all I call all these people on this earth. There are people on the earth that I can reach, that I can think I can reach. Not a single person picked up. But if I would have called on God, he would have picked up his food. You know? He could make me feel he could make me feel better. Like, he could make me feel way better compared to what some people could tell would be okay. Like what all I can say is gonna be okay. You'll be fine. Those are words. Like those are words that you know may assuage me, make me make me feel pseudo better. But at the end of the day, God can change my disposition. Humans cannot. And for me to go into the church today, I'm going to. I'm a little fearful about what I'm going to encounter in the school today. But um, I'm going to have faith that things will work out for my good. Because I know the battle is already been won. won. I, just gotta, I just gotta fight. I know it's already been won. I just gotta go every single day, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how stressful it is, I gotta go. And I gotta, um, and I just gotta put up a good fight and be with um, God's soldiers. So, um, and the reason I'm trying to tell y'all all this is because um, this is something that I deal with as well as people that I see that um, I know. And um, on a side note, or I'm saying I want just to add, ladies, do not open your legs for anyone that you are not in a relationship with, or not even not even married, immediately married to them. If they don't have a commitment or a ring on your finger, don't open your legs for them. They're not worth it. So there's no guarantee they will stick around, especially if you were to get pregnant. There is a large percentage of deadbeat fathers in this country, let alone the world. Do you really want to add? more stress to your life and to yourself with the person who didn't really treat you the best to begin with. And they didn't really see the value in you that's only been because the only thing you want to do was sleep with you and then you get pregnant impregnated. Do you really think they will stick around? Just thought, you know what I'm saying? Like don't wait for a person or a guy or anything like that to see what you should see in yourself. Like, you see your people sit here and they're sad, they're upset, they're like, um, excuse me, um, they're sad, they're upset, they're discombobulated, they're mad because people don't want a guy that will abuse them, or even a girl for that matter, specifically for focusing on um, guys' relationships right now. But, um, and then they get depressed and they,